Well, Noblesville, IPS, and Clark Pleasant are all schools that approved a referendum uh, last fall in part to expand the mental health services provided within their schools. Many are participating in a training that equips staff with knowledge to help spot a student that is struggling with their mental health. News 8 CR Hignite has more on what that training means. St. Francis Hospital is one of the agencies hosting what is called QPR training to schools all around central Indiana. The goal of the training is to make teachers more comfortable talking to kids about mental health so kids who are struggling can get the help they need. And it's teaching them how to ask the question, what to do once they answer the question and say, yes, I am thinking about taking my own life. And what do you do with that? The training also dispels some common myths surrounding mental health. Asking the question does not put it in their head. It actually decreases their anxiety because then they feel they have someone they can speak with. Parents are relieved knowing this service will be offered in their kids' school. I feel like this used to be something where we hid behind these closed doors and and our kids need to know that there's not shame in that, that when they need a little bit of help, that that's actually okay. Experts say the time of thinking that your child is immune from mental health struggles is over. It's everyone, and that's what's scary. The data is having to go down into like 10 and 11 year olds because we have kids in elementary attempting suicide. For kids, knowing that someone cares and that they have someone to talk to can be a life saving difference. Regardless of you know, gender or age, if kids are encountering hard times, to have a network of support around them. Mental health, we can no longer brush it under the rug. We have to address it because it's real. Indiana now requires schools to offer at least two hours of mental health training for their staff members. We need to have the conversation. The topic needs to be addressed and on an individual basis. Turner says spotting the signs of struggle can come down to three simple things. Caring, compassionate, and just listen. Reporting, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV News 8.